Blue turtle. Oh my gosh, I've missed you. I've been, I feel a little guilty every time I see your name because I loved like streaming Apex and hanging out with you and I haven't played Apex in like a million years. Like something just happened and we, I haven't played. I think what happened is like we moved to a different place, which I can't remember if I told you or not. But it's like we lost the rhythm. And you know I was never great. <laughs> but now I on I like wasn't really streaming like at all. Like the whole summer. I've been trying to get back into it and build the habit because it's fun. Oh, for after I finished Dragon Age? I thought you meant like after I finished drawing. My brain. Yeah, actually Mass Effect is exactly what I was planning, but what I was going to do, um, I was going to play Dragon Age 2, <laughs> and then I was going to play Dragon Age Inquisition, <laughs> but um, that was the plan, but I've been like, I've been seeing so many Mass Effect memes lately, and there's Mass Effect Remastered, and I'm thinking about Garrus a lot, like, it, I don't know, it might, it might be just time for straight up just Mass Effect. Love it. And it, I kind of miss shooting a gun in a game. I have, I don't have guns in real life. I felt like I should clarify. <laughs> but yeah, I miss Shepard. Oh, a Caden lover. You know, I've never romanced Caden. Um, but he, that's not boring. I, I like Liara a lot. I romanced Liara first, but. Sometimes I feel like her romance is kind of boring because it's very, it's like the Hallmark movie channel arc. It's like, oh, I'm a small girl who's focused on my work. And then Shepard's like, are you? And then she like, I don't know, tries to be a badass. I don't know. I've kind of been there, done that. Dude, I've been seeing some... What do they call Caden and Shepard together? What's the name? It's like Shalenko. Sheplenko or something. But I've been seeing some male Shepard... Shenko, yes. I've been seeing some male Shepard, Caden, like, fan art and, like, gifts. And I'm like, this is steamy. I'm into this. Have you romanced him with uh, Femme Shep too, or just Male Shepherd? Like, is there a different dynamic? When it's a female Shep versus a male Shep? I think that makes sense. I kind of feel like Femme Shep is less chill. Even though, like, you're saying all the same stuff, like, I just feel like she's more, like, take charge, and Male Shepherd is more like, let's just see what, what happens, and I feel like that's more cadence. Oh my gosh, so was it, like, heartbreaking when you saw Caden again? Um, is it on Horizon? And he's like, what, why are you like this? Like, what are you doing with Cerberus? Like, oh, I would cry too. Oh, wait. You're saying, oh, no. You're saying. Oh, you, you, good. See, maybe it's because I wasn't romancing him, but I was upset. I was like, dude, I died. I'm not in charge of what happened to me. It's doing my best right now. But also I, I didn't romance him, so our dynamic not the same. Yeah. Cerberus 
all that messed up stuff but then they they try to like backpedal and they're like oh that was just like some wild group that we didn't even know about but it's like the first person they send to meet you uh is Miranda and she's not like doesn't make the best first impression for Cerberus Yay for new followers um thank you for saying you like my art uh, my YouTube you have to search my name um, God, I have to stand up don't I do I yeah, I, thank you. I hated Miranda at first. Like, I really hated her. And my friend who had played before, he was like, no, she grows on you. And I was like, I feel like you're just saying that because she's, like, stereotypically hot. But she does grow on you. Like, I guess learning a little bit about, like, her family. But it's like she's trying to make you not like her at first. She's like, I'm perfect and I can do anything. I can't do a good accent, but it's a little off-putting. Oh, actually, you know, I just remembered like the first time you really see her in Mass Effect is like her just shooting someone. Like the door opens and she shoots the guy that you're with and you're like, okay, like this is one of the first people I just, I just met, just shot him. like. And yeah, this, um, they know it's 19 by 24. It's like, I never used to draw on such a big thing until recently, but pretty big. It's a little intimidating, but I'm, I'm getting used to it. Look, the Citadel DLC, I have never played. But we got the remastered, and I'm pretty sure it includes all the DLC. So I'm so excited to like see it because I've watched, I'd seen like clips from them, and they look so fun. Yeah, I missed all the dancing. Like I, I saw like a, a, I started to watch a YouTube video, and then I was like, I don't want to spoil this for myself, but I missed the dance. Like I've seen the GIF of Garrus. I'm like, I have to get this. Yeah, see, working on a larger canvas, that's why I have it, like, mapped out so much. Like, it says shadow here, and it's got, like, all these labels. Because if I don't, I, like, usually mess up proportions on bigger canvases because there's so much more space. Sticky notes are, like, way cuter and just nicer. I, I like drawing on sticky notes. There's no shame in that. I love it. The Citadel, man, Mass Effect 3, the ending is just, it's too much. I know, I think we've talked about this before, but it's, the last time I played through all the games, I didn't even finish Mass Effect 3. And the first time I played Mass Effect 3, I was like, what the hell? I was so upset. I was so indignant. I couldn't, I was like mad at Bioware. I was like, why would you do this to me? Oh, I can't even imagine. And he has, like, such a great voice, too. Like, when he's emotional and it gets, like, a little, like, a like a crack, kind of. Oh, I think I would have cried. Wait, yeah, show me. I, um... I've seen him before, but I kind of repressed what he looks like. He was in that show Once Upon a Time, and doesn't he have, like, a red curly afro? It's insane, because everyone else looks a lot like their, their voice actor. Like, Miran the lady who does Miranda, she looks just like her. It's just that she's blonde. But Caden... They like, they used a model for him, I think. But you gotta show me. If you have like a link handy, I would love to see it. Cause I don't remember his name. 
Looking at voice actors is a dangerous game, let me tell you. I think I looked up the... No, I did. I looked up the voice actor who did Alistair once, and I was so disappointed. Like, he's not gross or anything, but he looks nothing like Alistair. I was like, I've been catfished. Catfished. And voice fished. Where I had a friend who, like... Oh, let me click on this, and then I'll tell my story. Well, okay, Raphael Sparge. He looks a little better with, like, shorter hair. But, yeah, like, in Once Upon a Time, where he has, like, they, like, emphasize his receding hairline, and he's got glasses. I'm looking at him right now. It's like... He... I feel like if he dyed his hair... Is this... He was in Murder, She Wrote? He was in Drop Dead Diva? I'm not surprised he was in Law & Order, because literally everyone is. I kind of want to give him a makeover, but I think it's just too late. Wait, I just saw the worst picture of him. Copy the... No, I can't. Darn. Um, NCIS. Oh, yeah, see, like, everyone is in these crime shows. Like, every single person. <laughs> that weird looking guy. Yeah, that, because I found him in Once Upon a Time, and I too was like, who is this cheesy dude with the glasses? And then he started talking, and I was like, wait. And then he kept talking, and I was like, I know this voice. What is happening? And then I looked him up and I was like, oh my goodness, headphones are dying. That's so funny. You had the same, like your progression is like how I felt when I saw the voice actor for Alistair. Oh, but the story I was going to tell was that um, my friend was like really into that show Archer. And she, like, loved Archer's voice, and she always pictured, um, she always pictured Archer, like, the cartoon. Like, she imagined that the voice actor would look like that. She didn't know. She had somehow never seen H. John Benjamin. <laughs> so she Googled him, expecting to find this, like, 10, and, uh, it was H. John Benjamin. I'm gonna see if I, I'm gonna find the voice actor for Alistair. Alistair. Oh, you found it fast. Not at all, right? It's like, excuse me, please return that voice to where you got it from because clearly it didn't belong to you. Like, what are you doing? Yes! You're, ex yeah, like, Chris, that's someone who looks like a Chris, like a Chris Pratt or a Chris Hemsworth. Like, that's where that voice belongs. He looks like a Steven or something with a PH. No offense to Stevens, but like that's not your voice. Return that to Hemsworth, Chris Pratt, Evans, please. Even a Chris Pine. I do too. I I think Chris Pratt would be absolutely perfect to play Alistair. He looks so much like him and he has like the same mannerisms. Do you, I would love if they made a Dragon Age movie. But it's like, would they do it right? You know? Like, would they? Would I love to... Chris Pratt as Alistair. Like, just picture him in that armor. You know? Pretty good. Picture him... Like, making jokes about Liliana. It's like it's already happened because it's such a perfect fit. Uh, I could almost see the girl from Queen's Gambit 
being Liliana with that red hair, but I feel like the red hair is the only reason that I think that would work. Oh, I'm, oh I can't wait to see what link you just sent. Oh, what? This exists? I can't stop looking at it. That's the hair. That's the hair from the game. <laughs> no, we're, yeah, clearly we are not, you're not the first one who's had this idea. It's a good idea. Of course not. So, um, who do we call? Who do we call to make this happen? Because it was clearly meant to be. I feel like he'd do it. If he if he'll be Mario, he'll be Alistair. Zeno, thanks for coming and helping me out so much today. Have a good um have a good time playing Lee. And um I'll be sure to check out that Discord. 100%. Sending you love back. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Why your thing isn't sending though? That's. But I still have the link. I clicked on it when you sent it before. Enjoy. Chris Pratt himself. Yeah, Chris Pratt is I'm trying to like I'm trying to think of other people I would cast. But I like it's like when someone asks you what your favorite band is, it's like, oh suddenly I can't think of any music. <laughs> like suddenly I can't think of any actors. Love to see a real life Morgan though. Because it's not just about looks, it's like the personality thing. Because it's like we were saying, Chris Pratt is like a goofball always. So, him being Alistair, like, that's another reason it works. Like, not only does he look like him, but he is him. <laughs> like, I don't, I can't think of any like dark haired, sultry sassy but secretly soft actresses that could be Morgan. Like looks wise I could see like the first person that comes to mind is Megan Fox. But like I feel like that's just because Megan Fox has been like trending all over Twitter right now because of her weirdo. Wait I, I could see Aubrey Plaza but it's like Aubrey is a little funnier. It's like Aubrey has dark humor, but she's also like, I don't know, I feel like she's less pouty than Morrigan. But sometimes Morrigan is kind of sulky. That's true. It's like, it's kind of hard sometimes to get Morrigan's humor out, but Oh, it would have to be someone who has a great rapport with Chris Pratt, too, because Morgan and Alistair's banter is, like, the best in the game. Like, that's really when her humor comes out. It's when she's berating Alistair. Because this playthrough, I've been trying to bring Alistair less, because I always bring him. But, you know, I've been bringing, like, Zevran and Ogren. Brought Sten for a while, um... You know, I've been trying to mix it up, and it's just confirmed for me that Morgan is her funniest when she's with Alistair. So great. If they hate each other, they love each other. They'll probably never admit it. Oh, oops. I just made this part really dark and it's not actually supposed to be. That's whatever, we'll just make it work.
go with it. Well, no, except us. <laughs> Not really excited thinking of it. But Aubrey Plaza definitely has like the look. Sure. Ooh, you know who would be good? Um. Oh my god, but first let me react. Like, yeah, Alistair, when he's like in a mood, like when he's talking about Templar things or the fade, it seriously is so annoying. Like, it's like grow up. Like the whole Redcliffe thing with Arl Eamon and his mage son and blood magic. Like every time Alistair complains about blood magic, I'm like, shut up. Or when he first meets Morgan, he's like, oh my God, it's an apostate. Like, oh no. It's like, yeah, like, you're not a cop right now. You're a ward. Forget about it. Um, but you know who would be totally perfect for Morgan I have to google her name I want to say it I don't want to just be like that one girl okay, hold. or I think she'd be perfect I made Alistair really mad one time because I decided to Sacrifice Lady is sold for that blood magic ritual to um, get Connor, and he hated that. And I didn't. It was the first time I ever played the game, and he was so pissed at me. He was like, "How could you do that?" And I was like, "I, I thought it was the best." And then, so the next time I played, um, I didn't go in. I didn't kill the lady. I think I just killed. The kid and he was like how could you do that and I was like I how do I win with you and then I was like oh we have to go out of our way wait who did Cruella is it Emma Stone this is Emma Stone whoa she looks great I could see Emma Stone Emma Stone would be really good but that's not who I Oh, the person is um god Lizzie Chaplin I think I think but I gotta say I think Emma Stone especially with that Cruella look I could totally see that I haven't seen Emma Stone in a while <laughs> Like, I feel like I always just picture her from, like, Easy A. How was Cruella? It sounds like you liked it. I'm always kind of skeptical of new, of, like, the Disney live actions, because sometimes they're really good, and sometimes they're, like, they're just okay. Like, I'll definitely check it out then. I know I can trust your recommendations. You are a person of good taste. I know this because you play Dragon Age. But yeah, can't I? I could see Lizzie Chaplin doing it too. I feel like she has the look and like all the characters I see her play, which granted is only like two or three things I've seen her in, but she has like that. Yeah, exactly, Janice. And she was in, like, Mean Girls for a little bit. Or not, she was in New Girl for a little bit. Mean Girl and Girl. Mean Girls and New Girl. <laughs> yeah. She'd kill it. Okay, so we got Morgan. So um, when this movie comes out, we definitely get the casting credit, I think. By possibly...
Discord. We can be like Dragon Age Sultan. No, you don't need the people who worked on the game. You just need the people who have played it over and over. And that's us. Emma Stone is so good too, like, so talented. And I like that she's doing more, like, seems like she's getting roles in, like, more of a range, which is awesome. Totally agree, like, because honestly, like, if some of the video game things It's like I, I just, it makes me nervous whenever I hear that they're turning a game into a show. Because there's a, it's like when they make a book into a show, there's a lot of potential to miss things and get things wrong. Because there's so many little nuances, like the way people interact and getting like the style and getting everyone's personality right. Like I still, I've heard good things about The Witcher on Netflix. But I haven't watched that yet either. Because I'm just like, I'm sad. But it looks good. I was, at first, I was surprised that they decided to cast Henry Cavill. But I think they did a job getting him to look like Geralt. I didn't feel like the person that they got for Yennefer totally fit, but I also haven't even watched it, so I can't judge but so much. Makes sense. And I always forget that The Witcher was a book before it was a game, and I've heard that the show does it? I've heard that it follows the books a little more because the game kind of does its own thing at one point. I... Yeah, I haven't. I also like. I haven't been looking up too much stuff on it because eventually I'm gonna watch it and I don't want to spoil it. Even though like it's based on books that have been out for years and it really shouldn't matter if I spoil it. Right, I heard that about Triss. And because I, I think I heard that she was like a POC. Like, I think she was black. And it's like, obviously, like, obviously, I want there to be diversity wherever there can be. But also, like, Triss had a very specific look. And it's like, let's make, let's, let's, let's not force it. The little. Like, I guess it would be fine if you you hadn't read the books and you had no, like, pre-existing idea. Yeah. Like, I have such mixed feelings on it. It's kind of like how when they remade Fantastic Four and they made Michael B. Jordan... Johnny Storm but then his sister was still white and it was like wait but why how does he have a white twin sister like what but then you know what did it like what mixed around race with like a great in a great way was that one Cinderella that Brandy was in and Whitney Houston and like her stepsisters like she had one black stepsister and one white stepsister and her mom was white and then Whoopi Goldberg was married to that guy from Legally Blonde but they had an Asian son like it was like none of it there was no continuity and for some reason like that worked really well and I like loved that that's a great point too because like yeah, like everyone else was very on point, so it just made it's like random. 
and it kind of goes with like what I was just saying about the Brandy Cinderella where like everyone was just everyone was just there was no like it wasn't like there was one Asian guy and everyone else was I guess really though in the Cinderella story it doesn't totally describe everyone but you know it's not like they tried to stick to like the Disney animated aesthetic they just did their own thing I liked it that movie's so good I'll watch it again it's like so dumb I mean it's Cinderella but still like Whitney Houston and the guy from Seinfeld what's his name Jason something is George in it so good And, like, when I was little, I was sure that the stepmom was Helena Bonham Carter. Like, I was so sure. And it's not. And I couldn't believe that it wasn't her. I was, like, offended. So crazy that Whitney Houston was in that movie too. Like that's so star-studded. Over. You would probably like it. It's funny. I mean, it's like it's Cinderella, so there's a lot of singing, and like I loved that when I was younger. But I recently rewatched it as an adult. Like I went ahead and just bought it on DVD because it was like five dollars. Um, but it was still fun. I just got a little bored during all the dancing. Uh, some of the songs like they're good it's just like okay let's move on <laughs> I mean it's Whitney Houston singing so you know is that because of um it's spooky season like Halloween or are you always more into horror I've been trying to get myself to be less of like a weenie and watch scary movies more I blame my parents like love them but they would not let me watch anything scary growing up so I didn't get like desensitized to it at all like everything scared the poo out of me like everything and so now I just like I have such a hard time but there's like classics that I've never seen because my parents would and maybe that was the right decision. I don't know. I have a friend who her mom let her watch like every horror movie when she was like too lo too young. And she was like, yeah, now I have like issues <laughs> um, and like certain phobias that totally came from, you know, watching really creepy things at a very young age. But like I watched, I've seen The Conjuring. And while I was watching that, I was like, this is not bad. Like, I really like this movie. But then, like, when I went to bed that night, I was like, oh my god, why did I watch that movie? And I couldn't sleep, and I kept staring at the corner of my ceiling, like, expecting that the lady to be there. Um, but then after that, it was fine. But And it's like I've kind of been wanting to watch it again, but I also want to be able to sleep. I, I just watched When a Stranger Calls for the first time a few months ago. Yeah, maybe I just don't like being scared. I like being a little scared. Like, I like suspense. I guess I don't like, like, the like, more violent scary movies. But I like, um... I like a suspenseful thing that makes me like anxious like oh my god like uh room 1408 or something I liked that one yeah yeah jump scares that's what yeah exactly okay I'm glad that you feel that way that makes me feel like more of a connoisseur that makes me feel like I have sophisticated taste that you think they're cheap because yeah it's just like it's like there's not even a plot, really. It's just being from scare to scare. 
and that's no fun. I know there's a sequel to The Conjuring. There's been one for a while. I still haven't watched that. I don't know if that one's good because everyone really liked The Conjuring that I talked to, but I didn't really think much about. I think it's called Annabelle. But since it's like almost Halloween, I've been like, maybe I need to just like suck it up and watch some of these, some of these movies that everyone like. Uh, Green or like Halloween, is that what's called with Michael Meyer ever? Like, how are those? What do you think of those? Should I watch them? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you made it so quiet, and even though I know it's coming, like, yeah, of course I'm gonna be surprised and like scared when there's suddenly like it's a dark room all silent and then suddenly it's like like, like yeah that's not even good you're not even building anything like I could jump out in a dark silent room and it would be scary me a scary person like I wouldn't even have to put anything scary on it could just be me in a onesie and it would surprise you and you would be scared how I feel about that. Oh yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street. I'll watch those tonight. Because also, like, they're, they're older now, so I feel like they could possibly be that scary. I feel like there's there's just so many references that I, I understand that they're from those movies, but I don't have the full context. There's a Conjuring 3. I didn't know that. Is it still about that doll? And did you like the second one? Is the second one worth it? How much today? How did I not know this? Where do I live? You know why? It's because I do this all the time. I don't find out about new things until they're old things. Because I'm too busy replaying Dragon Age. That's fine. That's the life I've chosen for myself and I regret that. Okay, it came out recently. That makes me feel a little better. Annabelle is a sub. Cool. Okay, well, that's a lot. So, like, how is Annabelle? Is it on par? Because, you know, it's like a creepy doll. That seems like it lends itself to, like, more jump-scary things. Like... Okay, you haven't seen it, so if I watch it before you, I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so I thought the Annabelle thing was the second one. No, you're, no, I didn't, I knew that, because the second one is called, like, The Conjuring 2, and then Annabelle is just called Annabelle. Yeah, I think I saw that those are on Netflix, so watch those. I've been, like, in a mood to watch a movie more recently, and, like, it's Halloween, it's starting to get cold outside, it feels like the perfect time to watch these classics. Like, it's time for me to see what everyone's... Yeah, there were like some moments in The Conjuring that like I don't think were supposed to be funny but like the delivery was just so dry that it made me laugh. It was like they walked out 
I think it was near the end and there was like a big tree or maybe it wasn't near the end but it was after they'd figured out that someone had killed herself at the house hey blue turtle we're talking about horror movies and um, they're just looking at the tree and he's like yep that's where the witch hanged herself and he said it the, the way like a property brother would point out like a fixture in a kitchen and it just made me laugh so hard that's where she hanged herself yep there there it is perfect place for fire swing while you're right oh oh my gosh I didn't know those existed in the same that makes it like so much more interesting I know like I was kind of interested in La Llorona when it came out because I had just recently like listened to a podcast about like that myth and I thought it was cool that they were making a movie about it this, the story is like creepy and sad and I I really like like anything to do with mythology like even if it's like loosely based yeah the like everyone said the first one was like so scary but there were just so many moments where it was like it felt, I don't know, it felt kind of goofy. Yeah, Blue Turtle, I like, I've never really watched a lot of scary movies because they're scary. Uh, but we were talking about how it's like Halloween time and there's all these like classics that I've never seen that I've been thinking about. Maybe just watching. Like I have a friend who's so into like Michael Myers and Freddy Krueger and she's just, like she loves them and I like can't relate at all I'm like I don't even know what they do why do you like them I need to watch these movies to find out all I know is like what they look like names and I I'm pretty sure they kill people <laughs> Also, like, my hack for scary movies is, like, I'll draw while I'm watching them. So when I'm scared, I can just be like, oh, I'm just going to focus on... I'll just listen. <laughs> That's how I dodge, like, seeing some of the scarier stuff and, like, disassociating for a bit. Ghostface is the one from Scream, right? Like, with the ghost face? <laughs> yeah, see, it's like everyone really likes Ghostface, and I'm like, I've never seen the movie. And I was saying before, like, I feel like now, like, those movies are so old that I don't think they would scare me as much as they would have, like, when they were new and I was, like, younger. Oh, from Scary Movie? I've never seen scary movie either. I think when I was, I don't know what was going on in my life, but when I was little, like we just didn't watch anything. Should I watch scary movie? Like, does it hold up? Would I, would I like it? I feel like I'm just going to answer my question. I feel like I need to watch it just so I can get these references. So many things I missed out on. There was so much I wasn't allowed to watch. And then I, it's like that thing where you, I could have gone back at any point and watched it, but I just never. Right. I do love parodies. Not everyone is in parody, but I think it's hilarious.
but I feel like I should wait to watch scary movie until I've watched the actual scary movie so that I get some of the jokes. Fun. It sounds like I watched um, Scream Queens, and I guess that's kind of similar. Like that was mostly like just funny. Some horror. Although, you guys, I really, I don't know if you've watched Scream Queen. You're gonna tell me in a second, but I really hated the way it ended. Like, I didn't like the ending. I thought the ending was so uh, unsatisfying. And I didn't even watch the second season because I was so annoyed with the way the first season ended. some pop my other hack for like looking like I was watching the scary parts but not watching them when I was younger and I like like when I was in high school and stuff and you know I was like with my friends and I didn't want them to make fun of me so I would I had glasses instead of contacts and I would just like not look through my glass like I would tilt my head down so I couldn't see anything I'd be like, whoa, yeah, that's crazy, and I, like, couldn't see anything at all. I was, like, determined not to look away. I, like, couldn't let people know. No. So scared right now. <laughs> I don't even remember what movie it was that we went to see. a really dumb one called like Unborn or something that was about like what a win I don't know it was so stupid I've never heard about it again sometimes people would put on like horror movies like if we we're hanging out at their house or something but no one ever actually watches movies like people would talk over it would be going in and out so never actually was focused on what was happening I was scared I did watch the paranormal activity movie in an environment like that and those aren't scary those are like so silly I could not take them seriously I don't know if any does anyone take those series? I feel like maybe when the first one came out and it was kind of a new thing. But by the time I was watching them, it, it wasn't new anymore. We watched like the first, second, and maybe even the third one. And I was like, guys, this is ridiculous. Why is why are they still here? Yeah, I just really like gore. Freaks me out. So, this is technically my hand. I used my hand for a reference, but the actual person that I'm drawing is my friend Paula, and she's like singing because I wanted this to be a portrait about like musicians and how awesome they are. There's her face, but it really, like, it really doesn't look like her. I feel like it's going to look more like her when I fill it in. Like, I had such a hard time with her nose. And it's like she's 
she's like mid she's like mid song and it's like looking up from below like that angle so hard let me show you the reference photo that i was using See, it like it doesn't exactly and part of it is because like there's not really like a defined line on her nose it's just like a highlight so I'm hoping like when I fill it in with stipples and it's not like these hard lines um, that'll look more like her I just had to I was like rendering it over and over with my pencil and I had to just stop because I was driving myself crazy and I was like okay I'll just I'll do the shirt and I'll do the hand and I'll fix it I'll cross that bridge when I get to it but yeah in that picture she's like playing the piano so you can't see her hands at all but uh, I wanted her hands to be drawing so I just did my hands as if I was singing and uh, took a picture of it me. I tried googling at first. I was like, woman singing, hands, and had the right pose. I'll just no. add. Self sufficient artist. me the only time I can't really do that is when I'm drawing men <laughs> that's when I get uh, my goal to pose for me it's funny because I never like actually tell him I'm just like hey can you look this way and then I take a picture of him Also, like, social media is amazing, getting reference photos of people. I have so many pictures. <laughs> so easy sometimes to find what I'm looking for. Like, with Paula, she didn't send me anything. I just asked her, like, hey, is it okay if I use, like, your face art project? And, sure. Like, cool went through her Instagram and Facebook until I found a picture I liked. I think it's all. Time flies when you're talking about movie Dragon Age. Yeah, mostly people. Um, I've always really liked drawing people. I've, I draw like other stuff sometimes, like still life type things, um, like plant and landscape scene. But I think it's fun to draw. I can't really explain like what it is. I just think, I just, I guess I just think it's more interesting to draw. Like, I have the most fun with it. Like, I've drawn, um, some, like, mountainscapes. Like, the thing behind me, I drew that, and I really liked doing that. But, uh, oh, I always go back to drawing people. I think it's fun. I think it's also it's like the most relatable thing because you know, I'm a person you're a person looking at people 
like my mom loves landscapes like especially landscape paintings she said she just feels like so at peace she's looking at them and I, I just don't get that feeling like I love a beautiful view like in real life but usually if I'm just looking at a painting of a, a waterfall or something I don't really get much out of it but when I'm looking at like portraits like I could stare at those for a long time I always think it's cute too when people ask me like they commission a portrait like somebody asked me one time to draw his fiance it's like a surprise for and I love doing that because like it's so fun um I don't know I just think it's cute knowing that someone was like oh I love this person can you draw them for me also pets People love getting portraits. I get way more commissions for pet portraits than people portraits. Millennials love their dogs. But uh, I get a lot of people asking me to draw my cats as a gift for my boyfriend or Actually, like a lot of the commissions that I get are drawing cats and dogs. I've gotten pretty good at that too. But they look so creepy. Like how when I showed you her face and it's not done yet and it doesn't quite look like a per, like it doesn't really look right. Like drawing animals and when they're not done yet, like they look like hellish monsters. So funny. I wish I had, I had like this ridiculous in portrait or in progress drawing of a husky and it's obviously done now, but when I, when I was just getting like the line work in and it was just like the shape of the head and like the nose and the open mouth, like it looked so crazy. I was like, ugh, What's happening here. It was so funny. Next time I draw a pet portrait, I'll have to like pictures of the progress. I do like like doing little designs, like drawing shapes or like flowers, like small stuff. I guess those are more like doodles. But yeah, people are definitely safe. Do a really nice the life of an ice cream cone one time that might be my favorite not it looked so good ice cream are just pretty i don't know what it is about them if it's like because i just really like ice cream or what but it looked so nice Part makes me this because I have to get like the shape right. I drew like what I thought was incredible drawing of. Harry Potter, like the cover of the Goblet of Fire, the book, I drew that when I was like, I don't know, how old was I when that book came out? I don't remember. I must have been like 15 or something, and I thought it was like the best drawing I'd ever done, and my mom hates this story, but she was like, I'll put this in a safe place, and I never saw it again. To this day, I've never seen it again. And I don't know, like, I don't know if it really was, like, a super good drawing or if it was just, like, not that good because I was only 50. I have no idea. I've never seen it. Like, I, I had it for, like, three days. 
she put it away and it's just gone. I was like, Mom, where did you put it? She's like, I don't know. Somewhere safe. Oh, yeah, it's safe. I don't even know where. That was before we even lived uh, in Virginia. So who knows? It might be like floating around in California somewhere. I was like, I was so angry. Like, mom, this is art. And I was obsessed with Harry Potter. Like, I was doubly mad. That. So, I mean, it probably wasn't, like, that good a drawing. But still, I would like to have it. I'd like to see it. It would probably feel good to see how much better I've got. Okay. Getting this date right. Like, right. yeah. The one, like, complication of using my own hands and kind of, like, giving them to her is that she's not black. I'm black. <laughs> Duh. And, like, so off the reference, it's hard not to, like, like, it's like, okay, is this, like, actually a shadow, or is it just that my skin is darker there? So, getting the lighting right, I've been taking it pretty slow. I don't want to mess up. And I know, I mean, I guess it probably won't matter, because black and white, but I'll know. And I don't want to look at it and think about, like, oh, man, I think. I hate. I don't ever want to be up with that. Then it'll ruin the way I talk about it. Like when you're playing an instrument for people and you mess up and no one else notices, but you know. <laughs> It like ruins the mood for a second. Like with drawing, it's like if I see a mistake, that's all I see. Like I'm just going to hone it on that. Not the fingertip done. They're still like this. But it's been like two hours, and I finished like this whole thumb. So I feel good about the progress I've made. And I'm going to give myself a break, get a snack, you know, do human things. So, I don't know. I hate, I hate ending these. How am I supposed to end these? I'll talk to you guys later.